everybody out there. Today I'm going to be uh, showing off the utilization of the newest um, pinmame.dll which enables the ability to so to speak do color DMD style. Now this is not technically sprite by sprite or pixel by pixel but it's more of percentage based colorization. So in other words 100% on could be one color, 66% on could be a different color, 33% another, and zero a different, allowing four different colors. So before you launch, just to give you an idea, this one is actually Sigma style. So this kind of like blends in or blends together the pixels. I think it looks great because you could actually use like Sigma style. Um, no copyright in infringement intended. It's just the utilization of um, the pin MAME and enable to get it to look similar to Sigma style. Um, let's go ahead and um, pick Frankenstein now. That's okay. I'm just kind of like showing it off. Now, Baywatch and Frankenstein are two that I can utilize on mine since I have a real Vache DMD. I do want mine to look like a real pinball machine, so I'm not going to go change my LCD to a, um, a colored DMD. But if you have a color, or if you have a, a color LCD, I would strongly recommend the utilization of this utility because it makes things look really nice. Once again, Sigma st looking style appearance. And I'm going to show you guys how to do this. Now, if you want to, go ahead and start a, start a ball real quick, Monica. And what we'll do is we will just launch the ball to get a little bit of the DMD animation. And let's go ahead and pick Johnny Mnemonic. Now, the reason why I picked Johnny Mnemonic is, if you haven't seen, I, I have a Johnny Mnemonic. And I got it recently. I love it. It's a fun, fast-flowing game, but it does have one uh, row out on the on the DMD. Now, this gives me an idea of whether or not I want to purchase the the color, um, or what do you want to call it, the DMD extender, and do this mod of of replacing my D, my existing DMD with possibly an LCD. Now. Right here, there's nothing, not, not much going on. Go ahead and start it up, and at least we'll get an idea of how it looks. Just regular pin main style. And now we're going to go ahead and cut it. When I say cut it, leave it on. And go ahead and take the camera from me, Monica. Now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to hit the T to get my mouse out. Once I get my mouse, I'm going to right click over here and then click on Game Settings. Now, once I click on Game Settings, it's going to come over here. And one of the things I'm going to click on is Colorize DMD. Now, what I want to do is I want to pick some colors that would kind of make sense for Johnny. So, I'm thinking that there's some a lot of blues so I'll start off with maybe one of these kind of like lighter aqua blues and I'm gonna make it brighter I'm gonna make it pretty bright and I'm gonna hit OK so my second color is actually on a darker blue it's already kind of like picked for me but I'm gonna make it a little bit darker so it's going to be about like that. We'll hit OK. My third one, to make it even darker, I'm going to go ahead and bring it over to this reddish area. And we'll leave it at a pretty dark area like that. It might not look good, but this is what we'll try at first. I'm going to hit OK. And it's going to tell me I have to restart. So if you want to focus back on the DMD, still looks like normal. Got to go ahead and exit the table. Rerun the table. 
and it should be color DMD style, so to speak. When I say color DMD, like I said, no trademark infringement intended. I'm just showing you kind of like the pixelization. It shouldn't even really be color DMD. I should be saying something more along the lines of um, DMD extender style. Now, you get an idea of the guy's face. It looks all funky with the red dots. Hey, it didn't look so bad with... Um, with um, Baywatch though, but it looks real funky here. But if you notice, each dot is a dot. A dot is a dot is a dot, so to speak. Uh, it's not Sigma style. So once again, I'm gonna hit the T, and I'm gonna come over here. The red does look nice over here. So you gotta kinda decide on what you wanna do. I'm gonna go ahead and um, change the red. I don't really care for that red. I'm gonna go back to game settings. And once again, I'm going to go ahead and change this red, and I'm going to make it a darker, maybe purplish color. Yeah, let's go for purplish. Because then it'll kind of blend more with the guy's face, I think. So we got the light blue, we got a medium blue, and we got a, a little bit of a darker purple. And of course, off is black. So, I'm going to hit OK, and once again, I am going to have to restart. That's pretty, huh? Mm -hmm. So this is one of those things where you kind of like have to play with it to feel like, okay, what do you like? I'm going to go ahead and restart it, and once I restart... I should not see the reds anymore. Now I should see purples. Yes, now the guy's face looks pretty cool. I like the guy's face. Well, not like that. <laughs> <laughs> um, I want to go to the Williams logo. Well, ooh, that looks nice. And the Williams logo looks pretty nice. I like that. Now, if you notice, everything is still dot by dot. So how do you change it to Sigma style? Well, that's going to be our last little piece right here. Once again, I'm going to go to Game Settings. Now, you don't have to do this in the same order as far as, like, picking it, but you could have picked, you know, you could have picked this to start off with. But the big thing to make it Sigma style, Compact Display. Once you hit OK, I have to restart again, so let's go ahead and restart it, and when once we restart, it should be Sigma style. With the colorization. Looky, looky there, I like that. Now enter looks like a solid word. The guy's face looks like a solid face. Of course, it does have dots in the middle, kind of like the actual color DMDs. I'm going to flip through these really quick. I like the looks of this. Oh. Purdy. So, starting up a game. Well, actually, maybe I'll flip through a couple more. It's nice and solid. I like that. I want to go back. I wish I could see that. Well, you guys can rewind. That's kind of cool because when you've seen the no, you've seen it flashing on underneath, but you didn't quite see it flashing on the, um, the color DMD. But one thing I just wanted to say, for all the people that do have um, LCDs, this is a, a really cool-ass option. Excuse my language. But utilization of this is almost like a necessity. Me, I got mine set up with a real Vache DMD. I don't think at this point in time I want to go with downgrading to um, an LCD. And excuse me if that's a matter of opinion for the downgrading. Because I do think it's very, very tempting. Um, anyways, just to start up a game real quick to give you an idea of what it looks like. Of course, I couldn't get the, the throwing spikes. I think it looks 
beautiful. Beautiful. I love it. I'm kind of like looking at the display instead of playing and just hitting my flippers. But. I'm not hitting anything. Anyways, that's going to be it for my video. Thank you for watching. Give me a thumbs up if, uh, if you weren't aware of this or if this helped you or maybe inspired you to go ahead and set up your system with these um, new features. Thanks again.